Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It is Sunday evening and I have done just about nothing today. I am just about to go and strip the chicken that I cooked yesterday. Um, it has been ready for quite some time. I have used a lot of the Too Good To Go bags that I got last night. I used them for lunch and things and snacks for Kathleen. However, I then found a book that I'd forgotten about. This book was written by a member of my father's family in 1934. And I thought it was a fictional book, but it wasn't. It was actually about a member of our family, one that I had never heard of. Why I had never heard of him, I don't know, because seemingly, well, not seemingly, he was. He was the superintendent of the tent hall and somewhere else I can't remember now of the now what was it Glasgow United Evangelistical Association he was a pastor he did free breakfasts for children he did dinners he did services he did tent halls he did preaching on Glasgow Green, etc, etc. So, of course, once I started reading that, there was no stopping me. So, I'm a bit cross-eyed now, I have to say, because I read at high speed. Obviously, there were some bits I skimmed that were just descriptive. Um, but, yeah, I, I absolutely fell down into that rabbit hole. And then, of course, I had to go and find the cemetery where he's buried, and I had to go and find Tent Hall, where it was in Glasgow, and such things. So <laughs> I have really done not an awful lot. I mean, the intention first thing this morning was to do so much. Thankfully, I have done the washing of the clothes for next week. I was going to go through to Patrick's this morning to help him with the car, but because of the ice that we had here, it wasn't worth it. So he said just to stay here. So as I say, I did the washing. I got some bits ready and then I found the book. So yeah, I have done not an awful lot. I did also think, as soon as I started reading, that I was like, I need to make an audiobook of this. So I had a little practice with my microphone. I sound like a newbie school teacher trying to teach things. I need to practice more and get it more relaxed so that I can make an audiobook of this because I think it would be so interesting to so many people. So that's going to be the next few things that I'm doing. Um, because it's all right standing talking, but actually reading out of a book, you try to follow the words and you try to get your diction right and it just went squinty. It was awful. Sounded so stilted. So yeah, not as easy as I thought. So I'm going to go and <clears throat> strip down this chicken, maybe, um, and I will see you all on the live at half past eight. Catch you later.